Good morning, YouTube. Let's rise and shine. It's your man Calvo with the Velvet Voice back in the studio. Episode 31. Heavy is the head number two. Today we are going to be working primarily in gold, the gold leaf paint. And we are going to be working primarily on the crown. Yeah, that's right, baby, the crown. Let's go ahead and run this intro. All right, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome to the studio. My name is Cavo, and today we are going to continue the second episode of Heavy is the Head. Today we are working on a pretty intricate part of the crown. Um, inside, I want to have some lettering. I wanted to say something inside the crown. And what I'm doing first is I'm just, you know, working out the lettering here in this gold. Um, this is a tricky, tricky, tricky process. Um, you'll see that I have the gold, uh, the gold leaf paint on my little tray. And I have my tray very close to where I'm working. Um, because this stuff likes to drip and if it drips on your velvet you better hope that it drips where you want it to drip because if not you done messed up you know what i mean so um i keep it close um you'll notice that i try to work out of the top and keep enough uh paint in there to you know keep it moving um, and I sort of dip and replenish, dip and replenish and kind of go there and make sure that I'm, if nothing else, dripping into the top instead of, you know, anywhere else. Um, after, you know, working with this technique for a while, um, I, I've gotten pretty good at it. You need to really be careful with these. Um, also, I would fer very heavily suggest that you work with this stuff in a well ventilated area because it is um it's a little heavy when it comes to the fumes so um just to let you guys know that um when it's coming to like something like this this all in one shot um yeah the studio begins to to smell after a while so it's good to have a little bit of fan ventilation keep the air moving um, so what am I writing in the crown? I am writing um, Gravebus Caput Est. Um, it is not German, you know, it sounds that way in the end. It is Latin, um, Gravebus Caput Est. If you haven't already Googled it, um, means heavy as the head. Um, it's the title of the painting in Latin in the crown that's basically where i'm going with it um and i'm trying to keep uh, a sort of a, a latin feel so in certain things like the u is going to look like uh, a v and um I'm, the t's are going to be like arrow shaped kind of thing the s's are lightning shaped Just enough to give it a sort of um old feel as opposed to some new modern font type thing um uh, i still kind of think there's still a little bit of a modern feel to it but whatever it is what it is um so i'm going to put this lettering into the the band part of the the crown um, and then i'm going to go ahead and continue to work through the crown to get a good first coat on there um, in all honesty, um, when it comes to the, to the gold, um, in, in many instances, it kind of looks good in one coat. 
depending on what you're doing. In this application, um, because I'm doing this crown, um, because I know that at some point in time or another that I'm going to come over this gold with some gold glitter, um, because of the, the fact that I want there to be this feeling of aged, um, I probably won't go back over this with a second coat. I probably will leave this um, a one coat wonder on this gold and it'll still be bright, it'll still look gold, it'll still be wonderful. But if I, I feel like if I go and I put a second coat on the gold, then it'll be too bright. You know what I mean? It'll look too fresh for something where, you know, it's supposed to be a skull there for a while. It's supposed to be worn and used, you know? Um, with that being said, um, I'm just about finished here with the lettering. And once that's done, I'm going to continue on with uh, the details of the crown. Um, at some point, it is my intention to put a couple, you know, jewels and beads in there. So you'll see that, you know, I'll, I'll be leaving a couple spaces and stuff here and there so that you can, you know, see that later I might put something in there. Um, and with that being said, um, today's subject, is, what I want to talk about today is, um, everything that glitters really isn't gold, you know, um. I, I, I'm sure that we've all heard these sayings in our life, you know, and this one in particular, you know, and, and the reality of this particular thing is that for me, it this one always sort of hits home. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you back in the day when I was a little bitty kid, you know, just like every little bitty kid, um, when you hear about what gold is, you want some. You know what I mean? You see gold and it's all great, right? You think about pirate treasures and all these different things, gold coins and all kinds of stuff, right? Well, um, when I was a, a very youngin, um, I came across what I was told was a gold nugget. And man... I was like, I thought I was the richest kid on the block. Um, where did I find it? Well, I found it with a bunch of other rocks in a box that was thrown in this like weird dresser thing by a dumpster. Um, when you live in the hood, um, when people move out, you can find all kinds of crazy stuff at the dumpster. And in this particular case, I found um, what was a, a bunch of stuff in this dresser and then there was these things with these rocks and um, I saw what I believed was a gold nugget. Um, and I grabbed, I left all that other stuff, which was, huh, anyway. Um, and so I, I, you know, jetted out with the gold. I thought I had it, you know what I mean? And basically, I just decided to hold on to it because I didn't know where, who to middle, you know, who I could get to middle a, a lunk of gold, you know what I mean? So I just held on it and it was pretty. I just liked to look at it, you know what I mean? And I, I was just in my mind for a, a while, I was just planning all kinds of stuff that I was gonna do. And it was funny because while I had this thing carried around with me, my little nugget, you know what I mean? Um, you couldn't tell me anything. You know, my mind, I was bad. For this whole period of time because i felt like you know I, I have i have this hunk of gold you know i got at least a million dollars worth of gold in my pocket you're not going to tell me how to behave you're not going to tell me what to do oh it's terrible oh it's terrible and then i mean i got kind of you know because kids attention span is about as big as a minute um, I, I moved on to some other stuff. I felt pretty good about having that nugget and that it wasn't going to go anywhere. And I just decided that I was going to keep it in a safe place. And um, I don't know if you remember back in the day, they had this thing called Sucrets. It was a, like a throat lozenge and it came in this little tin, right? The closest thing that I could say, like if, you're, if you got like a modern eye or a modern type person where you are now today, the closest thing would be like an Altoids tin, right? Um, but it was a Sucret tin. And I put this nugget inside there. 
and I, my mom was a nurse and so I got some nursing tape and I taped it up and I kind of hid it in my drawer and I left it there for a while and I didn't think anything of it no more. It was kind of like in my little busy bank account in my head. Um, and a while went by and I remember over, you know, it, it was it was weird. It was like the summer came. I remember we went to go and stay with my grandmother for a while over the summer and I came back and I remember that I was incorrigible that whole summer. My grandmother must have switched me a hundred times over that summer because I, you couldn't tell me anything because I had a hunk of gold, you know what I mean? And so in my mind, I was as rich as rich could be. Um, and so came back and my, my little Sucret tin was still there in my drawer. And when I got back from you know summer vacay and we were, it was like fourth grade and we started to have science. And I had this really pretty teacher at the time. Her name was Miss Tarnowski. And I wanted to impress her because she was cute. You know what I mean? And I wasn't really a good student at all in school for any real reason, but you know, if, if you were cute, you know, you know, you could get me to, you know, at least pay attention, right? So you were talking science and I, you know, and I told, I stood up in front of this class and I told everybody and I told this lady, I said, hey, I got a gold nugget. You know what I mean? We're talking about stones and rocks and all kinds of stuff. And I remember telling her, hey, I got a hunk of gold. Nobody believed me, right? And, you know, she kind of, you know, everybody in the class was like, you know, just kidding, I know gold, whatever, get out of here, you know what I mean? Um, but I was like, nah, because, you know, I had a hunk of gold, right? And she kept telling me, oh, you probably have this. You probably, and I was like, no, 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 I got gold. I got gold, a hunk of gold. That's stuff that the 49ers be panning for in, in California, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. You know, the football team, the Niners, that nugget, that's what I'm talking, that's what I got. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, nobody believed me. I was like, all right, all right, cool, cool. Watch, I'm gonna bring it. So the next day I come back to class and I bust out my Sucrets tent. And I'm like, look, I got this gold. And my teacher, Miss Tarnowski, she grabbed this thing out of my hand and she eyeballed it real quick. It didn't take her no time at all. And she goes, yeah, that's just what I thought. You've got pyrite. I was like, nah, nah, nah. I don't know, pi is right, this gold. I don't know what you talking about. She was like, no, 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 no. This is what's called fool's gold. And I was like, I don't know who you're talking to with that type of language. My mama ain't raised no fool, and that, sweetie pie, is a hunk of gold. I buy this whole school and fire you behind your language right now. I was so upset because no everybody, and the kids started laughing at me. Fools go, fools go, ha ha, you think you ain't got nothing. And so I was like, all right, I was so upset that I came home and I told my mom, I'm like, look, I've been hanging on to this for a while and I feel like it's time for me to go ahead and cash this in. I need you to find a middle for this nugget. And she was like, what are you talking about? So I'm like, look, and I showed her, I said, look, the kids at school don't believe that I got a golden nugget. And so I started showing it to her and she looked at it and my mom's a nurse, she ain't no better. She's like, yeah, it looks like gold to me. And I said, like, that's what I'm trying to say, it's gold. And, I, and they tell me it's some sort of pie, right? I don't know nothing about no pie, right? I'm, it's gold. So to me, whatever she said was right, was right to me. But she ain't, you know, and everybody is laughing at me and I'm just tired of it. And I just want to go ahead and cash this in. Because I feel that if I come into school tomorrow with stacks and stacks and paper on top of paper, then all these little fourth graders are gonna be there with their mouth wide open because I got paper and I'm gonna be stuffing hundred dollar bills in them gaping ass mouths, you know what I mean? But 
And so my mom was like, okay, well, you know, she did, like I said, she didn't know no better. She was like, okay, well, this is what we'll do. We'll go to Blank Jewelers that's still there. We're gonna go over there and we're gonna have the man look at your jewelry. Look at it and he'll tell you right away if it's gold and he'll buy it from you right away if it's gold. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. Mom coming through. Mom, look, I'm sorry for me being a little terrible kid all this time, but I felt like I had this gold and nobody could tell me nothing. She was like, oh, is this why you've been acting bad? And I was like, yeah, don't worry about it, Ma. When, when we get straightened out, when the gold man hooked me up with that fundage, you know what, Mom? I'm gonna buy you a house. We're gonna be all good. And that's it, don't even, don't even trip. She's like, all right, so we piled in the car. We drive on over to the jeweler. And I'm, I'm happy, cause I'm like, man, I'm looking at the gold and I'm like, man, I'm about, this is the come up right here. You know what I mean? I'm about to get these ducats. Oh, I'm gonna go to school the next day and I'm gonna throw paper all in there. Man, stacks and stacks and racks and racks of paper. You know what I mean? Ooh, I'm gonna know something about the presidents. I'm telling you this time around, Miss Tarnowski, I'm gonna know. I'm gonna show you my presidents, not me. This gold nugget was going to be the, man, I was, it was gonna be Cavo Elementary School by the time I was done. So my mom goes up to the man, she says, excuse me, sir, could you do me a favor? Um, my son has a gold nugget and he wants to know if you could appraise it. Now, I'm in fourth grade, I didn't know what appraise meant. It just sounded like to me, like she wanted this man to go, yeah, glory, hallelujah, baby. That is some gold just raining down praises on this nugget. And I was just like, yes, yes, praise this gold. <laughs> so then I reach into my pocket and I pull out my nugget and I put it on the counter and I'm like, yes, yes, tell me. I want the millions, I want that money. And he picks it up and he looks at it and he goes, I'm sorry, son. This ain't real gold. This is pyrite. This is fool's gold, son. This is worthless. Oh, Lord. Oh, 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 Lord. I can't believe my mama just stand there and let this man kill me in front of her like that with them words. <gasps> Worthless. I can't believe that my mama let this man call me a fool. Oh Lord, I was so hurt. It tore me down, it tore me down, it tore me down. My mama looked at me, she said, boy, I can't believe you made me drive over here as much as gas is. And you acting bad over you a little. She smacked me in the side of my head. Oh, 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 let me tell you. Not everything that glitters. My brother and my sister and not everything that glitters is gold. I promise you that. I promise you that. And if pretty fourth grade teacher tell you that something is what it is, you can pretty much trust them. That, you know what I mean? Just gonna go ahead and say that. Man, mm, mm, mm. man, I thought I had a come up. I can't even, still to this day, it bothers me. I was in fourth grade. You know, that's like, it's like almost a hundred years ago. I'm still, it still hurt. That man called me a fool in front of my mama. Damn. Mm. That man said, worth. Yes. Art by Cavo. Thank you guys for watching. Love, peace, chicken grease. I'm out.
なたと私は完璧に等しい。あなたと私は完璧に等しい。Ouch! Watch where you're poking that, mister! Algorithm resistance is futile.